Today na Monday, the third of first day of August, 2020. Welcome to Sierra Network Radio and welcome to the Health Talk. We don't get this program last towards the end of 2019 and because of the COVID-19, I be make this program be go off track a little bit, but we're on calls again. And today we get we able doctor with we, Doctor Aisatu Kake Jalo, he go come take over the program. And today he go talk on traumatic brain injury and concussion. Yes, Doctor, you get the platform. Hi everyone. Um, happy Monday to and happy new week. And we hope for the best in this coming week. And we really hope see everybody stay safe. And, you know, like you don't mention AAA, yes, we don't only really do health discussions that we plan for the come every month with one topic for discuss some of the things that we'll for look um, into and try for protect ourselves health wise. And, um, and due to the COVID-19, you know, we decide, you know, once most of the time I can briefly mention some health things and we did go on like even on Saturday I talk about the polio briefly but like uh, there's a day that is dedicated so that we can really know exactly how we can become familiar with some of the health problems then we did go on and how we go able to protect ourselves you know in some of them and the this particular topic why I feel that it was important this time yeah so now the last time we we'll discussed the young boy we um uh, we sister die in the process, you know, when we go for we take the NPSC exam. But in end up for get a head injury where we feel say many of we being feel say it need some kind of um multi disciplinary support, meaning people then for don they come around and the boy for don go to hospital for let them assess them and also deal with the problem where it be the face that time. And that we also feel say the time wasn't right for let you go and take that exam day because some of the things that we go happen when somebody get a traumatic brain injury and concussion or concussion, you know, now that's one for highlight today. And also we want for also see how best we will, you know, make uh, some form of alliance in the country for what we try to sensitize different communities them in terms of putting the go on with somebody get a head injury or trauma. So uh, we will briefly talk about within a, a traumatic brain injury and then just, and talk about some of the signs and symptoms. Them. So according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, you know, we based here in the United States, then they define, you know, traumatic brain injury or TBI, which is an abbreviation, say now like a disruption. We don't happen now the normal brain function, right? So where that can happen, it can be due to somebody don't bump in head or they don't blow another head or there's this jolt movement, you know, from, you know, uh, don't happen inside the head. And then that can lead to, or the person can don't get some kind of penetration of injury. So like, let's say if there's a car accident or motor vehicle accident or like a fall, you know, you can go, you hit your head so hardly it can cause some form of uh, trauma to yourself. So everybody, they at risk for traumatic brain injury. This is not something I want everybody to know because you don't know when you go there out there, they drive or somebody they drive and can't, you walk out, you know, they even at a lane and can't they hit you. Right, that can happen, and especially picking them came for them, and also the elderly people them came for them. Why? Because the picking them not can observe all the different things and uh, compared to somebody when uh, the middle age or the young adults, you know, in can able to think a little bit wisely and quickly respond to something when it come in their way. And for the older people, then as you get older, your sensation and your vision, you get some trouble with that. And actually, if you not possibly get diabetes, hypertension, you know, your vision can get affected if you not control the high blood pressure or control the diabetes. So now some of the things then this, you know, now then they are more risk compared to the average population. So if you can see that image where they go on right now, you can see the area, look at the brain, and then also, and you see the injury area when at the red spot, you know, so what can happen now, so the head move back and forth. 
So then it will go hit against the skull. So that line causes that bleeding in, in, inside the brain. So when this can happen, it will lead to some of the other things that we will go into as we continue the program. So some of the statistics that we hear in the United States, they show say in 2014, then we get approximately 2.5 million people that were going to the emergency room because of TBI. And then out of that, 812,000 now been picking them. And then, uh, you know, within that, again, you know, the number of people that will actually die from the TBI, when are the traumatic brain injury, have been 56,800. Out of that 56,800, then we get about 2,529 people picking their way die because of TBI. So, Lord, be very vigilant for we picking them, and Lord, vigilant for we, you know, we mummy them, we so we then don't become older and things like that. So, and some of the thing that can really happen because of unintentional meaning, they're not mean for uh, hurt themselves, you know, or them for them, which not by accident, no more them for them, where they count for 28% fall the count for 28 percent and you know motor vehicle crash like wouldn't get car accident you know now some of the things they're not waking have to win a contributing factor for tbi when it accounts for 20 percent so then a traffic accident 19 percent now in a way the person then struck the person or you go bump against something and then about 11 percent are due to you know some form of assault and the other uh nine percent they're not too sure why it happened and also um then get about seven percent now other things and they cause that injury they will like it happen and bicycle at three percent so you know and even though the number looks small, but let not forget, say, get the king and we left for ride bicycles. So we therefore ensure, say, and take the necessary precaution and wear the proper headgear when they out there who they ride them bicycles. So, and other things, other form of transportation can lead to about 2%. And suicide may be say, for one who kill himself, a very minimal, now like 1%. And this now from past rehabilitation, now they your data, this would improve out for me, you know, during that time, you know, so the numbers then could be slightly different right now. So, and I will go into the next slide when I, um, traumatic injury in Sierra Leone, because I've been one for try for tie in what thing they really happen now. We own country, we come to, you know, traumatic injuries. So, um, not much data and, you know, waiting I find, but what I find with this, uh, study way and do, um, by you know some of the physicians in uh, uh, Sierra Leone, you know you can see in the next slide we will we'll see them name them along with uh, some doctors them where they uh, they call themselves the surgeons overseas assessment of surgical need instrument right to then what they want for do now for do a nationwide population based study na salon and that was January of 2012. And if you read the article itself, it is just the Ministry of Health, you know, and Sanitation being defunding for doing this study as so, so the actual article day, which I will share that link, you know, uh, with AAA if anybody interested in reading. It was just like an abstract, but then do this study and then find out, say, about 90% of injuries that are due to, you know, that can lead to death. Now, it can happen at homes, them will not get enough income on the middle class in many countries. Them. So the aim was them being really one for no, waiting at the number of people them with traumatic injuries, them, and waiting at the cause for them injuries they are so, and waiting at the degree where they lead to disability, especially in Sierra Leone. Now, them focus being that. So them do a two-stage random sampling method where they try for target about 3,750 participants, them, you know, across 14 districts in Salon. So this was in January of 2012. So if we go to the next slide, Tribune, where it says findings, you know, about 3,645 people then respond to the survey, where it be say 
you know, uh, that's not ninety seven point two percent, you know, then then I didn't put in that and respond to this survey as well. So out of that then find out say one thousand three hundred and sixteen injuries them they they report. So and also four hundred and eighty six people that we respond, about thirteen percent say that then there's some form of traumatic injury the year you know, with it, you know, the year with the day or the year before that. So, and then, you know, then find out, say, fall, we, we I mentioned that the United States own statistics would have been 28%. For we, Nastalo, it accounts for 43% in that survey, which was about 563 cases, you know, and most of them people in the extremities, like them, the legs, they can get, you know, damaged or their arms them. So then that being happened and about 55% in many of those cases out of the 43%. Then it, it go into, you know, the uh, about 57 would report reports say, you know, the injuries that wouldn't can get now like the groin, you know, area would not be 42% and it can even lead to some form of disability for them people then they and then also you get about um the focus which is like a motor vehicle accidents, you know, it's uncommon, but then saying that the fourth most common overall would have find out about forty one, you know, thirteen out of forty one people then die from that, you know, motor vehicle accident, which accounts for thirty two percent. That number they based on just this survey is too high for the country. If you can think about it, the population is very small and we get that number day during that time. We the hope say we will do more study, you know, or then we'll put more funding for do more study for really find out from two thousand and twelve to now, which are the new data in terms of people that where they drive uh, where they drive or they ride motorcycles as we can see, we get so many motorcycles and at the country where they go on at the villages them, at the different districts them and people then can get hurt in the process. So and that's not something we then find out, you know, um that, and the group of uh, physicians and we do that study this. And also, you know, this is not just another slide where they talk about violence, assault, you know, uh, collision that is related to you being struck against something. And also when you walk out, you know, motocar will bang you, you know, or you for them, you know, it's still they give you the same statistics on a different, uh, this now from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and then you major causes of traumatic brain injuries. So, and also within then can also figure out and find out, see, anybody where they do some form of sport, or then they are like a military combat, they can experience some of them injuries, then like TBI, you know, and also uh, if you acquire, I mean, if you happen for be, uh, forget, you know, brain injury, you know, it can lead to, you know, you the individual, it can lead to or other injuries then, because you still they deal with some memory issues then, which we can dive into in a little bit, you know, going down, you know, say, because you still not heal it, because from the first injury, it can cause for like you end up with um, another injury. So the first injury not even heal, you they get another injury. So that's more likely with traumatic brain injury. And then, you know, the next slide, um, AAA, is um, the one that talks about, you know, the, the parts of a uh, human uh, brain. And this, they just give you the different segments them whole well, brain, you know, entails, you know, you get the, the brain itself, you get the skull, uh, your blood vessels, you just see that. And then just imagine how complex this uh, part of the body is, or this part of the organ is. So with any injury to that, you just the and like say, you know, definitely they cause so many problems for you. And you get the brain stem with it go down your spinal cord and we'll briefly mention within each of the things that they do for the body. So, and we they talk, we they see here uh, the frontal lobe, you know, which they deal with different things and functioning them, what they, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Then you get the one right in the middle, the parietal lobe, and then you get the occipital that not behind, right be, uh, before the cerebral bellum, then you get the temporal lobe when at the side of the brain, you know, when you look at the one right above your ace, you know, and things like that, and then you get your spinal cord. Um, what is the function for the brain in itself? So the brain really, the control, we taught them, it control, the memory, and we speech. 
and also they control the movement of we and we let them and in a function in other things in our body. The brain they is responsible for that. So now I mean, we can talk now say if somebody not get enough tissue perfusion, if somebody not get enough blood flow to in vital organs, then we'll end up with some form of respiratory problem, you know, you know they get enough blood flow or nutrients inside your brain. And you need that for let you really do them things they are so uh, when are the speech, the memory, the movement, and so forth. And then you talk about the cere- uh, central nervous system, where it be say that name entails the brain and the spinal cord, right? So the spinal cord now in a, a bundle of nerves that, and cells, where it be say it extend from the lower portion of the brain to the lower back. Right, so we need those two um, organs to function with no disruption. So any traumatic brain injury can definitely cause you to have to the other uh, uh, disabilities and debilitating effects. So then you talk about within at the spinal cord, within the spinal cord they do. So the spinal cord is within they do. It takes signal from the brain to the rest of your body. So it carry that signal from the brain for make sure, say, it control movement. It control your autonomic mo- functions, some of the other functions that we body need for, you know, t- do on a daily basis. And also, when it carry this information to the brain, you know, the spinal cord uh, nerves, it can transmit the messages then to the brain from the body, you know. So it's like sometimes we can think about some things that we can just do. Right, they go on voluntarily, you know, and some of them they now involuntarily. So this is the function of the spinal cord where it they do it they deal with sensation, it they deal with touch, you know, when somebody touch you, you know, supposed to touch you, and then this has to deal with all the different uh pressure points and the nerves also. And also your reflex system, the spinal cord also they, they act independently of your brain in conducting your mode of reflexes. And then you talk about some symptoms then for TBI, you know, where it can become a wide range of physical and psychological effects, right? So some of them symptoms there can happen right away or it can happen, you know, in about days to weeks afterwards. So depending on the type of injury, whether a mild, moderate, or severe, then these symptoms then can begin to present themselves. Now, for symptoms of mild traumatic brain injury, like physical symptoms, then they include you know, lost consciousness, you know, for about a few, sec- few seconds to a minute, to minutes, actually. And then you can lose uh, consciousness, but in a state of being dazed, like you just feel like a little confused as to what thing just happened. Right, or you become disoriented. You know, they even know say you did, or they will call your name. They don't know what is your name. Like you can say you don't know. So they talk about orientation. Would they ask the person like if you recall, if anybody don't ever get sick and end up in the hospital, you they see then they ask you, what's your name? What you know? Do you know where you are? Do you know what day is it today? Do you know the date and time? They can ask you that because we want for sure the this person is not confused. Right, and this can happen in normal visits. Them not the way you get traumatic brain injury, and this now some of the neurological assessment. Them, and you see, we'll write a note or we write a care plan where they say patient is alert oriented times three. Right, and recently, then they also patient is alert oriented times four. Would then they add to current events or situation that is happening? And some of the other symptoms, them way now the physical symptom now headache. You know, the person can become nauseous like you want for talk, you know, or then become fatigued and feel drowsy, right? Then can become, you know, if you find it very difficult for sleep, you know, then can, or sometimes then they sleep too much because of this um, uh, injury that they encounter. And sometimes then they become dizzy, then can lose them balance as well. And when you go to the symptoms, then where they relate to your sensory, when a sensory problems, you they talk about your vision. Then you talk about, you know, your vision they become blurry, like you're not going to see too well, right? And then you ace, you begin to hear everything, then the ring that you ace, right? Or you lost, they get some form of bad taste, like you mort, 
or the you know will even smell anything. So then we sense it, and we become affected because you don't get a traumatic brain injury. So in terms of cognition or your mental process, it is find it difficult to remember something or to concentrate. And sometimes then they you mood the change or you get mood swings where they say all not due to the injury and some people can end up will become anxious and depressed in that process. So then you go into the symptoms of moderate to severe TBIs when uh, um, you can, any of the four symptoms that we don't mention for the mild, they happen along with additional symptoms. Um, we then at the next slide um, for physical symptoms and cognitive or mental symptoms. Um, so these uh, physical symptoms then will become, you know, loss of consciousness, for several minutes to hours. So if we recall the other one, uh, for like um, briefly, or you know, for you know, being for the even happen, you know, like for few seconds to minutes. While this one now uh, for you know several minutes to hours, the person they become loss of conscious of what really they happen. And sometimes this person it presents with persistent headache or headache where they get worse over time compared to the other one that they say only oh, that. Now that then will just point to, and this one is the amount, the, 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 the great, like if you ask them, so on a scale of one to 10, what is your, oh, zero to 10, because zero means no pain, 10 means the most pain that you can ever experience. So you go, the person is say, if they be not saying at five, now they tell you saying at seven, eight, nine, or it even saying at 10, and in that light, you see really, you see the grimaces in the person you face, you see they in, in, in so much discomfort, right? And then the other thing where can happen, you know, now uh, of vomiting, right? Some the patient can have repeated vomiting, where the other one, then they feel nauseous and feel like they throw up, maybe one time, and in this time, it would really happen more often. Right, because there's been some disruption by the brain, you know, where they control the vomit, the vomit, the emesis or vomiting center. So, and so they can experience convulsion or seizures, right, which are like a, you know, some electrical activity that don't disrupt now the brain due to that jolt or that bump or the blow into the brain. And that's why we didn't think it was appropriate for that for what it would take the exam, right? Um, and then if you really need for dinner, a place where they will evaluate them properly. And then you talk about uh, dilation of one or both pupils. So if we see the dark part now, we eye, that pupil, they, they become dilated, they become bigger. Technically, when they can do the exam on your eye, they want to see if you, that dark part therefore becomes smaller with them penetrate the light there. But in this case, then they penetrate the light, but it is so, say, you know, it's not even constrict. Right, you know, the constrict is just they become that same big size day. And that way they you know say there's some effect of severe traumatic brain injury. So people can also they get um fluid them, clear fluid where they drain at their nose or their ears. That not for happen, go to a normal circumstance because that they say the fluid within are your brain and within are your spinal cord and then they leak from your nose. And you ears. So what they can do a test and they see on a white um if they use a white clothes or white cloth, you see that halo sign, like a round, you know, sign we with, with like they show a faded yellow. You know, that they show say yes, this person uh, of spinal cerebral spinal fluid leak and it gets Will really happen right now? Not to not to call it get to, but saying I'll call it get. I mean, you know, uh, it's not the common I know. Not to that. So, and sometimes the people can become very, uh, uh, then they sleep too much. You know, they even able to wake them up from sleep, right? And the person they become very weak, and then they begin to experience numbness at their fingers, them or then toes them, and they're not able to coordinate things. Like if you even give them pen for let them they write or let them they put certain them together than they will for that loss of coordination they can take place. 
And then you talk about, you know, cognitive or mental symptoms, um, you know, people can experience, you know, profound confusion, you know, and then they become agitated, then they become combative, and other people can cause, like, present with unusual behaviors, and, and then also their speech, they be affected, when they become slow. So when they talk to you, you don't even understand them, or then they talk, like, in a way that, like, somebody where they get a stroke, you know, and then you know, some... Unfortunately, in some circumstances, the people can experience, you know, coma and other uh, disorders which relate to consciousness. And then you go into the slide where they talk about children. The picking them, you get uh, picking them. We will tell you what they go on with them. We, and then you get picking them. We now we we'll tell you what they go on with them. So you get for observe, you get for really know the picking and what are the unusual habits. And now, so then picking them, we we'll tell you what they go on and we tell you say, my head hurts, you know, or until you say, um, you know, uh, some of the sensory problems and really happen to them will tell you and you will see it and somewhat confused. Right. And then this speaking now, we know we will talk, we know how we talk and tell you anything with the gong time. You yes, see, say, if they eat fine, if they, if they, maybe they get breast milk, if they do that, but now you don't need to do any of that, like what if they do one before. And then also, then can they cry for a very long time, then they become, you know, irritable, you know, at the same time, they're not going to pay attention to some things that wouldn't be to pay attention to. Then sleep habits, they change. And also, then, you know, then, and say then they become sad and the mood they change as well. You know, we're not the psychological part of this, you know, so loss of interest in their favorite toys. Like, so if they have been like something we did give them before, they're not going to like that anymore. So these are things that we the parents that we need for really observe and then also report them to the pediatrician, you know, where they take care of the picking. And then also these are some of the questions that we then will begin to ask, you know, the patients, the, uh, the, the parents, like the parents, Parents really are the patients in the pediatric uh, setting. So some of the things that we don't really do. So, and then how then can you diagnose, you know, traumatic brain injury? So definitely the question as to how the injury happened is very important. So who said you've been there where this thing happened? What did really take place? You know, how will I end up in this accident? If this is not possible, we will tell you exactly what's in the goal in the help really is how you will diagnose the problem for know whether this was due to a car accident or it was due to just falling from a tree or from a motorcycle and things like that. And also, you know, the person in level in, in level of consciousness in the confusion state, they help in diagnosing traumatic brain injury. And then, then they do the neurological uh, examination where uh, they deal with your memory, your thinking, your vision, the hearing, and the balance you can see then it asks the person, you know, let it walk between two foot then together and also check the reflexes then for see if that reflex and they, you know, jump so rapidly or you know, they jump at all, you know, they can do them kind of thing. So also um it depends on the nature of the TBI and how severe the symptoms are. They, then sometimes they can do a CT scan just for see if this person get any bleeding under the scalp. You know, just like that first image we 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 waiting at the first slide. You know, or to find out if there's swelling at the brain because if swelling day, then need for the medication to get rid of the swelling because the brain no get any other space. Right, you know they grow again, especially you know somebody with an older person. You know, then you talk, you know you need for decrease the swelling, and you get for that um, also give them. Um, excuse me, you get for give them. You know, like diuretics for get rid of fluid as well as give them anti inflammatory when a steroids for get rid of the swelling. And sometimes the patient might need to do emergency surgery for letting um will remove the blood with it under the scalp. And then some of the medication and treatment that we can do basically for these patients, then now thinking the diuretics we are mentioned, we are like a water pill. So you can see when they take them for different things and what and get different forms and for different um 
uh, reasons. And then they, they give them seizure medication. Why don't they give them seizure medication? Because they no longer then get seizures. Because you already they deal with a trauma in the brain. So for let you experience seizures, it just they make the condition worse. So the, the electrical activity in the brain don't already disrupted and adding more to it because the person with the gas seizures and some of the things and then they within the they go through. So sometimes when they give them medication for just for induce the coma, you know, so that you know, let them not get seizures. And some in many cases, you know, uh, which is unfortunate the patients or the person get for go through a surgery for remove the blood clot when the hematomas, right, bleeding under the skin or the scalp. And then, you know, in other cases, the person don't get a fracture of the skull, so then get for repair those fractures. And in some other cases, because the swelling don't pop, the swelling too big, then get for put holes them at the scalp until the person heal and all them swelling then go down. With the don't go down, they can continue back and go back into surgery and close that those ball holes. And then you see some of the other things that we the person will need when a rehabilitation. So rehabilitation they deal with people then where they try for help the patient back to a normal state of functioning. So then you talk about the physical uh, therapist, the occupational therapist, because now they get for learn how to walk, then get for also um, learn how to talk. So you get the speech and language pathologist, you get the neuropsychologist, as well as the recreational therapist with vocational counselor, because maybe this not somebody who get a good job or somebody who not been the breadwinner for the family. Now it is deal with this type of injury, so then get for need them kind of psychosocial or psychological support and counseling with for it go on while then they in rehabilitation. Um, then we want for briefly uh, highlight on concussion when a form of traumatic brain injury in this one self is now due to bump, blow or jolt of the head or with an Somebody hits you, like when they play soccer or when they play football, the American football, can you experience any kind of you know, trauma they have to. And in those cases, you see where the head and the brain, they move back rapidly back and forth. So, and then uh, this sudden movement, it can lead to, you know, that bouncing or the twisting of the score, right? And then when that happens, it causes chemical changes then at the brain and sometimes it is called a stretching and damage to the brain cells them. So then people that have so definitely need medical providers them for let them see them for determine whether or not mild uh, concussion, I mean mild uh, brain injury then get or not like moderate or severe. So even though medical providers then might tell you say concussion not to a life-threatening one, but even with that, the effect can become very serious. That video, you know, the food that we did on Facebook, they, they, they see, which thing just happen, you know, how the brain, the, the maneuver within the skull. So with it cause, like the initial impact, we not like a coup or, you know, they can call them counter coup. You know, when the brain is strike inside the the skull, and also the way that happen, you know, you see there's shaking. You know, like the the, the you know, it's, it, there's some form of disruption where they definitely affect the normal chemical balance within the brain. And then when this happen, it cause swelling, right? In a, in severe cases, it put pressure on the person in spinal cord. You know that really control the uh, the breathing and other basic life functions. Them so then they grade them concussion. They are so from one to three. So the one, grade one, if the person get confused, will confusion will last for about fifteen, about less than fifteen minutes. Then they consider that they as grade one, and then the grade two. Confusion or amnesia, we you see, they forget things. Where really they last for more than 15 minutes, and then they consider them as grade two. And the grade three, now somebody will don't get a brief unconsciousness for several, uh, with serious amnesia. So then they forget so many things and compared to the first grade one and two. And then for them, one, they will really play sport. 
especially they experience a lot of concussions them uh, during sport uh, events or sport activities. So then, therefore, the sport medicine doctor or provider gets to evaluate the the, the, the uh, athlete whether they can go back, to, you know, to the sport. So first, if they get a grade one, you know, when a we are missing at the 15 minutes, like the symptoms, they don't, they don't go back to themselves for about 15 minutes with no symptoms. Then they can go back to the sport. If not grade two, you know, and then therefore make sure, say, the person day with no symptom for at least a few, you know, uh, one week. One week with no symptoms, at the turn on it and they say let them go back to uh, the, the sport activity again. So you can see them, they tell them, say, well, you have to be screen free. You can be watching, you know, stuff, you know, uh, you can be using your phone. Sometimes, they, you know, certain teenagers and then they pull and phone at their hand because they want for insurance and they follow the recommendations then for let them go heal. Right. And then for the person who get the grade three, you know, uh, then can return back to sport after two weeks of no symptoms. Right. So that could in at the primary impact point, we say first hit you need where uh, the counter cook at the secondary way, we say the we don't hit you need, then the, the brain move within the scalp to hit the back of you you you, you, you scalp. And that then can happen, you know, for people that we get concussion. And then some of the symptoms then we put in the present with, you know, or waiting you to see or waiting then they tell you, they, you know, is similar to the uh, uh, head injury, but slightly different. So this, uh, if you see concussion signs observed, right, the person appears to be dazed or stunned, you know, the, or the person can move in a clumsy way, you know, or then can forget instructions and we don't give them. You know, whether it, like maybe even assignments, you know, you can see this with the young ones that within a high school, where they play sport, they can tell and say they get assignment, but then they forget that. And they're not able to answer the question in a normal fashion, then very slow, and they can lose consciousness briefly. You know, you can see that in them, and the mood or behavior and personality can change. You can see that in them. And then the symptoms, and now we be say, now within the person they tell you, you know, now the headache, uh, they say, oh, I feel a pressure in my head. I'm feeling nauseous, or I'm, I'm, I want, I'm vomiting, you know, lately, you know, and also they can get problem with them balance uh, as well as become dizzy with the double vision and blurry vision, meaning, you know, then they see it twice and then the vision not that clear, you know. So if even if you turn the light on and then put them make noise, it affects them, you know. So, and also they can become very sluggish, you know, and foggy and gro groggy. Right, some of the terminologies and that, and then confusion and memory problem can also surface. You know, just not feeling right. Not only then would it tell you, I'm feeling down. I don't feel right. I I feel say I don't feel right. This I don't even not to myself. You know, not to me normal myself. Some of the way of thinking and would it tell you, but some of the dangerous signs and symptoms and we come to concussion. You know, now where the person in pupil. That black part in the eye becomes larger than the other one, a danger sign. So when that happens, need a medical help right away. Um, you therefore get a neurological evaluation in many cases. They can do an MRI for you to see what can go on. And then they will call the neuro-ophthalmologist who can assess the patient or the person. And then this person can sometimes, you know, just the same goes with the drowsiness and they're not able to wake up, they wake them, they need to wake up a danger sign for concussion. Headache way they say it they become worse and you know they go away. That's not a danger sign. If their speech becomes slowed and they become weak and numbness they happen, then coordination don't decrease. These are danger signs for concussion. And then, then they report it and they vomit and then they get, you know, they, they, they witness seizures them and then behavior don't change and then level of consciousness, you know, they can just pass out or feel like they knocked out or even a brief loss of consciousness, you know, you have to take these things very seriously, right? And for the young Pekinia winner, the toddler, you're talking about, you know, one, you know, anywhere from three years downward, you know, if he's experienced any of them, 
times they have we say um the picking the cry no more, you need to stop for cry, you know, you they try for you know, bell I'm like you not cry, they get full, you need to grieve for eat, you need to sleep, definitely take the picking for let them go check the picking out. And then uh, hematoma, if you see now the next slide now, so that's now hematoma, that red area now the brain, you know, where you see now blood day under the scalp, you know, within the brain. So that they definitely require uh, surgery for remove that so they can do an opening, you know, a craniotomy form to remove that. And then, you know, the, that the first picture just to show you the nerve fibers that we'll get now we body and now we brain tissues them, we think can happen when somebody get a traumatic brain injury, then nerves they are can tear, you know, and then can cause, you know, some form of a, a impaired signaling between the brain and the other part of the body them. And that's telling you, they see the person, they get some form of altered skills or function or body function within they do. So bleeding, I mentioned hematoma, you know, and then these are, you know, uh, they need to cut it off also. And if you don't do that, we think you end up for happening, the cells then can die. And then you can see inside this brain right now, you know, the person, they experience swelling, you know, with now there's no space. So there's nowhere for them, this swelling or the fluid that they accumulate now the brain, you know, for go. So we think they can do, give medicine if you're not working and then do like an opening on the, in the scalp for that. And then you they talk about effect of traumatic brain injury or you get the physical, the cognitive and the behavioral part of it, you know, where they deal with you sleep, you know, your motor uh, skills and your digestive system feeling tired. And then you deal with, you know, people then who they repeat things and they forget stuff them and they become disoriented and they're not get they're not able to concentrate or focus on something. So that's where, you know, where somebody get a head injury needs to be evaluated within the hospital setting for a proper diagnosis because, you know, they will just they do something with a non know what that effect they we can happen within few minutes to hour, hours to, you know, days. So law not forget that and law really try to educate the community, especially we we country where they deal with uh, bike riders, um, you know, we want for see how we go really sensitize them on then things that we will happen if they get a head trauma or then passengers then get any form of head trauma. Then certainly for the educated so they can take the person to the hospital, the nearest medical center, instead of taking them home or to the school or outside and they go. So then behavior, you can see personality changes, anxiety, depression, and uh, change in their temper could be either increase or decrease. And then they might have some um, changes in their social skills. And, you know, uh, these are things that can happen if you end up with a traumatic brain injury. So the next slide on AAA with is to a healthy and um, uh, something about healthy and TBI. So the different sections and the different lobes then for the brain, where the, now the frontal lobe, which is the function for that part of the body, they, that part of the body they deal with with concentration, with problem solving skills and with speech. Now in that they deal with, with somebody will not get no problem with injury at the brain. And compared to the person we get Injury at the brain, you see that lack of focus, then they become irritable, the language, they become difficult, right? And then you go to the parietal lobe at the middle area and at the brain section, you know, that person is uh, get, you know, if they're normal, nothing, nothing all wrong with them, then sense of touch is there, then you feel pain, then you get a temperature, and the person will um, go through injury, they get difficulty for read, and then they can get some misperception, right? And then you're talking about the occipital, where they deal with healthy vision. That's not the one that the, uh, the color then they for really identify what they happen at each uh, section of the brain. And then for the other person now, you deal with uh, occipital blind spots, blood vision. 
And then the temporal lobe, when I did, you deal with the memory and organizing your thoughts and your thinking, you know, if you get injury, the problem with that would be like you would get then short-term and long-term memory problems done. And then you can talk about your cerebellum, where they deal with your balance and your coordination. So if you get an effect when don't deal with you cerebellum, the area of the injury where it happened, that they affect, you get difficulty for walk, you get difficulty for talk, so your speech, they become affected here. Then you deal with the brain stem, where they deal with you breathing, you know, like your steady heart rate, the brain stem, they uh, control. So with any uh, Traumatic brain injury, it causes changes in your breathing and also difficulty swallowing. And then we want to talk, show some of the same highlights them about traumatic, you know, we are danger signs in adults for traumatic brain injury. So, you know, immediately you need to get a medical attention if you begin the experience, the drowsiness, you feel different size pupils, they not differ much with the other one then for concussion, but this is very serious. Um, convulsion, seizures, you know, trouble, con you know, recognizing people and or places in the day where you, the person can you ask them, you know, say you did today, or maybe the person in a hospital, but they tell you, say, no, I didn't ask school, something like that. Or they tell me, say, but I'm in my house. Or do you know the year? Who's the president? Things like that. You ask them, them questions, and they, you know whether they're confused or just, you know, or not, they, not oriented at all. So they become restless and agitated, and behavior they change, and then they get that loss of, you know, consciousness when really it happen. So those are dangerous uh, signs that you need to get uh, medical attention right away. So how we can prevent this? You know, definitely you get for encourage, you know. Bike riders, you know, children, young athletes, anybody who plays any different um, contact sport, you know, get for wear helmet, you know, get for wear the appropriate headgear, especially, you know, for you and you picking that if you really like for red ride bicycle, make sure you want to ride the bicycle and they wear uh, the helmet, you know, or the, and they can actually fit them to put their the head size because some women can just wear helmet no more to the correct size for them and that's really, you know, the really stay secure and then it will just fall off your head, you know, with really the trauma take place. And if you let if you let for use them other American thing there, so when a snowball, uh, snowmobile, square, you know, football and you know, horse riding, etc., definitely wear the appropriate headgear. And also in the cars, you need to wear belt. You know, when they talk about seat belt, it's very important because if you get a car accident, you seat belt they on instead of the um, the you get out of you. You sit and being thrown on the other side of the window and hit your head, you know, the seat belt will protect that. Because if you recall with them, it's and now, even when they, they, they drive, if you want for change, you sit there like you want for like it moves up a little bit. If you don't find drive, it take time before it changes. So where we mostly then new muscari and which are observed in sometimes we are one for you know loosening up the, 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 the length of the system. So definitely not a safety measure and a safety precaution with everybody for try for institute, you know, and even at the back of the seat. It's very important for that you use a seat belt and also picking them where they work out with, you know, car seat. Make sure they wouldn't be less than one year old. The car seat, they face not the backward. And then, you know, wouldn't they, um, after above one, you can turn on forward, but also always, always make sure see the seat belt, you know, the hook to them and also the, the most kind of your seat belt also they go around and cast it. So, and try your best not drive where you know, say, you get under the influence of alcohol or drugs because 19 cause many of them, um, motor vehicle crash them, we could then can lost their life. You know, if you know, say you go out and you not plus you don't drink, definitely, uh, thank somebody who is sober, we will drive the motor car for keep you safe, for keep everybody on the road safe. So these are some of the prevention them who can definitely put in place and ensure they would it one. Then if we go into the next slide where they deal with CDC recommendations, you know, for them now, soon America, they get a program called Heads Up. 
So within that heads up really entails or within it is focused on it is focus on safe brain and 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 stronger future. So if you keep the person in brain safe and then you can anticipate, say, if he's healthy, nothing happen to him, no injury not take place, you know, you could get a better future for them to the young picking them where they come up, you know, or even the adults where they play athletes and things like that. So definitely healthcare providers them then recommend say that and they assess, you know, the patient or the individual, then for try for give them some form of counseling in terms of how they will protect themselves by instituting then safety precautions and you know, within the out there, within the play sports or within the ride them bicycle just for fun or within the even go hiking, right? And then also, if you feel say they don't uh, uh, diagnose the person with some form of disability or or effect or traumatic injury, refer them to the appropriate you know uh, specialist. We will deal with it when are the rehabilitation people, them, the neurological doctors or the neuropsychologists, as well as you know neuro ophthalmologists, as indicated. So these are some of the things. And also, before they go back to school, you they write a letter for sure, say this speaking don't get involved in a motor vehicle accident or some form of contact sport where they hit their head. So, what are some of the things that we the um, the healthcare provider get for look into and make sure say then they complete them and return them back to you so that you know say the picking safe now school is safe for let it continue in daily lessons them you know so the healthcare provider I mean sorry the the teacher not the school just for now that's where you know different people then come in in terms of other would really look out for the picking and waiting the need for the look out for and waiting the need for report. Uh, for that, the picking will see, uh, seek a medical help. So that form, then they will be said and get for complete. And if they present with any of them symptoms, then let's see, then get problem, the light, they bother them, or any of them danger signs, then the headache, you know, the nausea, definitely they need for contact the person in doctor for so letting them uh, evaluate them and see if they need for be off from school for some time. And then so when they heal back, they can go back to uh, regular routines, you know, slowly. They're not going to do normal, say, uh, today you're doing well, so, you know, uh, it's fine to go to full activity. No, they can gradually increase their activity and their school workload. Even if they get for make, make up school work, then we'll do that afterwards. But definitely you want to do things gradually in that light. So what thing we can do as Sierra Leoneans, um, you know, how we can get involved in things like that to ensure, say, you know, we keep, we, we, we youth them, we young um, athletes them, or we citizens them safe, especially the one that we can um, go out there that need for the, you know, take motorcycles or even with they play sports, right? So me still say we perform some form of alliance with the National Safety Board in Sierra Leone. So that, that associates how we can able to get involved. So that slide this trip we really can put up. Um, so, and I come up with this name and I hope say we can able to do something about it. So again, I'm already an acronym for let you see what it means, uh, NAP hits. So that means National Alliance to Prevent Head Injury and Trauma in Sierra Leone. So, you only see S because, you know, I could just say salon. So just for like it easier for people them to understand within a nap hits. Okay. So who will be interested? Now the question and the they left everybody with for no, who are interested in this form of, you know, for joining this campaign in how we go able to prevent head injury or trauma now we nation. And if we can get involved, like we get few people them who can come up and do this alliance and try for work with the uh, National Safety Board in Salon. You know, we do create a website. We will also create action plans and policies them in how we can um, deal with concussion and traumatic brain injuries. Now we uh, youth support them. And then if you go to the next slide, what in the goals then get for focus on? For, for NAP hits. It would include implementing strategies that can help educate coaches, parents, and also um, talk about 
traumatic brain injuries. And also we will focus on helping young children, teenagers them, and also we will focus on areas them or the population where you see more filthy and they are at high risk for get concussion or for become, you know, get some form of serious brain injuries. We will do community events them where we say the website is there with resources them for try for sensitize the bike riders them, the motor, uh, motorcycle riders, and at, at the same time target high risk communities at least. So even if we get to a sport event and do some form of presentation to let them understand the coach, they understand the, if the athlete, this young athlete, they experience them in their uh, this unique for them so that we will keep them safe and keep them brain stronger and for a brighter future. And also we will focus on, you know, you know, go actually, instead of just focusing on telling them to wear safety gears, we will get like some form of, um, Events where we say we will provide free safety gears or helmets to you know, young picking them to let them know the importance of wearing it. And in these events, we will try to uh, get stakeholders them we will be willing for do like, you know, the proper fit testing, you know, for the, the helmet them and how they will support that cause they for we in the country. And then we will focus on emphasizing the fact that when you get hurt, you need to seek medical help immediately. Whenever you get some form of head injury or you fall down from a tree or you fall from the bike or there was a car accident, you know, and also we will continue for monitor and see how we institute good things and we will try to keep with young people and safe in salon as well as all the other citizens and will they ride bicycle in the country. And these are... Yeah, we stop for this uh, talk and um, I'm listening to any questions or comments. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Aisatu Kake Jalo, for your time we you take for explain to me about the trauma and concussion we I think somebody eating head or we get for do with head injuries them not alone. However, um before you go, um is the the one way you able fan on mm -hmm. Sierra Leone? That's uh, from twenty twelve. Yes. That's you not think say that it, it look outdated now? Right, it is outdated, and that's why I feel say we get for see how if we really able for do this um alliance here, yeah, so we can probably do some form of research for really go in the communities them because what thing them be even do not for say like then go talk to the people them you know directly then we use an iPad right for question the people them for, you know about the type of injuries that we don't encounter so if we do that now from that year 2012 to now we, i think say we can hear before get a broader uh, even a better data where we say within our community maybe even during their events then we can do some form of um, data collection as long as the person give me a consent say you okay you want to be part of the study and we can do this for like you know a couple of weeks and report that data to the National Safety Board as long, along, along with the Ministry of Health and Sanitation. And this way, we can really show what thing they really go on, what thing are some of the risks them, you know, or who's how we country stand when it comes to, um, you know, head injury. Abiba to K. Kabase, you see me, you not forget for include um, babies or infants, you know, like we they can shake the picking them. He says some of them kind of thing I can start for and then brain injury then can start from way picking them be small picking. We I don't know, sometimes with the seen as alone they turn the picking upside down, then shake and they say now for make he, he able to come to a better, better one. I don't know. What thing are you take on yeah. that? So now that call uh shaking baby syndrome. Picking them can die from that, you know, and then get the seeds. So Basically, people that we don't born pick in America yeah, before they discharge you, you they sign a document, say they don't educate you on the seed, seeds, 
or shaking baby syndrome, you know, they, they make like you watch a video because I've gone through it. Even though I know exactly what it is, you're not supposed to like when you pick the picking up, you know, shake the picking, like when you picking the cry, you just say when you shake and then go make it, you know, you know, cry. Think of it, what did they happen in that moment where they shake the picking with that video we've been just put up? You know, the the brain inside the skull they move. And sometimes then they they do that vigorously, it will cause bleeding. And then small, small vessels them, if you can go back to even that first slide, uh, Triple A, then small vessels them, all they show, you know, uh, um, that's not the number two, the second slide. Yeah. So you see, you know, and some people are not a dorm because they know what they need to do. So that make them still say educating the parents about what they really then they do, it will help in preventing dentin and the in a, a separate topic on its own, when a, a form of traumatic, you know, brain injury. Not complicating them. The shaking baby syndrome, so right? Yeah, shaking baby syndrome or sleep. So definitely don't shake the baby. You know, don't shake them. So see what's happening, you know, and also with our video being play, you know, where the, the brain, the, the come up from one end to the next, you know, what thing can happen there. So educate, you know, definitely, uh, parents and let them know, um, shape the picking because that is not something we're not for do. You know, not something we put and can really lose them picking and just like that. Okay. Um, let me see, because the question is then. Judge Kamara, I don't know if that, that's a question or a statement. It is say how many of the sample size involve women, men, adults, adolescents, and children. I don't know which sample size. I don't know if you understand. So she, he probably, he probably did talk about the, the one way, then the study, the survey would then do. Na, na, salon. Maybe you can clarify. That okay. this now, like I said, now be a short survey. It's not to be like a research, but then just sit and do the survey, you know, send out um survey to about 3,700 people, them across 14 districts, not alone, you know, we not in the, the first sample, the, you know, then the different cluster, not like a random one. So they use the iPad to find out from people, them, the different types of injuries, them, and what it don't cause to them, you know, so now that's them being different. Um, I don't well, know we which... definitely, we definitely go need to get a a, a a newer data. Exactly, on that's the, like the, eight years, the... and they, and with all the motorcycle accidents and whether they happen as alone, I think it will be very, very. If this one is kind of that high, that uh, um forty three percent, I believe. Say if they do one right now, that will be something it's gonna else. It's going to be even more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, Judge Kamara again. They say, and if you're C1 to C4, which control your breathing as severe, you will be gone or be on breathing machine forever. I don't know if you okay. understand that. Yeah. So what they try for C, so it will spine, it divided into sections. Okay. So you get your thoracic. Where they, where it involves you long and you diaphragm, you know, um, inside, inside that section, they, you know, now they, you, you heart also, they. So if you get some form of nerve damage or spinal cord injury or trauma, you know, where the injury starts from you C1, maybe down there with, you know, uh, the, the, I mean, actually down there at the cervical, you know, we think they talk about, they talk about the cervical, not the first section of your spinal cord. So this first picture where they see, right below the brain there, you they see then spinal, uh, bone then they, now then, now they see one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, myself where they talk to you, um, uh, I, I know I can mention this to you in many cases, um, the MRI shows it, me C4 and 5, not sit them on top of each other. So sometimes what they actually experience, me arm them can become numb. Okay? Um, actually too much, you know, while well, they drive for a long time, you know, so the, the, the reading, you know, but the point, the recommendation I get from the neurologist is, if you know they bother you, I don't feel so you need surgery right now. You miss a my heart not take surgery because they're not that bad to the point say I need surgery. Okay? But I get it moment days then where the headache begin, 
me hate the heart for a very long time. Me, me arm them. That don't get better. I think, I think I don't change my schedule a little bit in terms of how they do certain things them. So, um, that's nine just the try for refer to. If you get injured from that point then, going downward, you become that quadriplegia. And then they talk about, say, you become paralyzed, you know, you arms them, you, you limp, you know, you lower, limp them, all they become, you know, the worker, you know, they do nothing for yourself, right? Um, I believe that, uh, one of the actors, um, Keanu, uh, forgot his name, he even passed away, you know, if we don't from the horse, you know, and, you know, he ended up with a tracheostomy, you know, because now, now the way the injury happened. So somebody where he gets an injury, maybe now the lumbar area, maybe say, down, you know, to the second one, you get the, Cervical, thoracic, lumbar, you get your sacrum, those spines, you know, them vertebrae and the anyone with the nerve them get damaged, it can lead to paralysis. You know, so depending on the number way the injury happened, now that they determine how you be, you get to become affected with the paralysis. Um, I think Judge don't answer say yes. The question will be asked of that how many of the sample size involved women, men, and adults, adolescents, and children. Um, I think with all waiting we get today, again, George, they say, uh, now we know the reason why everybody be they say, the young man, not for be don't go at the exam hall after the accident. And yes. uh, I think Tony be ask a question. Uh, they ask what is the difference between CBI and ABI when are they acquired brain injury? So all I can say that TBI and something will happen to you. The acquired, it's like you know either you get some form of you know uh, brain you know cancer where they go on you know some kind of illness will lead to that from happening and which you know uh we can try for explore a little bit further but you know these are some of the things you know, the, the, the difference is the trauma is if you see the word is trauma that led to that right while the other one they say acquired so you got it you know because you had something happening in your body Yes, call ID live on your, your name and who's the call from, please? And waiting a question. From Australia, how are you? You got the platform, sir. Uh, thank you very much, I said too, because this is a very, very important uh, presentation you do, and this actually, they cause people learn, especially when you claim for die necessarily or unnecessarily. Especially when people like can do street fighting, you can see but people like can become jubilant when people they fight, they hit and they hit. And sometimes when they blow your people like hit and they hit, and they not say they need follow up for hospital for do scan, for see whether that hit or they hit and the person don't cause, because bleeding inside the brain. And sometimes when they kill it for a very long time, they don't notice symptoms or signs. You can just fall on one day, he died. I don't say a friend now, we don't go through that. They go by party, go fight. And somebody hit and hit. We we'll take out over one month, and not feel the symptoms. We just go to more power garden, you know, if they give you a chill call. Go to an hospital, let them go to scan, they are bleeding in a head, then do surgery. So imagine that situation in the Nazi where we have people like in fight, then they blow, blow themselves, blow their head, or then bike injury somebody for them, then they wear a helmet. And then go to accident with somebody, go bump in head, shake, shake, if you see no more, nothing will happen. You need to follow up in the hospital. So this kind of presentation actually they reduce the amount of death then, which can cause by brain injury or concussion. So this presentation is very good. I hope so now we continue their health programs here. Yeah, and more very more important. I thank you very much. Thank you very much, Concern Sierra Thank you, sir. Yes, doctor. Any reference to yes. that? Um, definitely we, we want to continue things like this because you know, we want to talk about other issues than the country, but we help very paramount in everything we do. 
also um, uh, accuracy, you know, we think it talk, you know, people don't really understand with Postal Forum, you know, like we, you know, many of we were not happy with how they deal with that young boy situation. And we've been still see the picking the boy need a uh, medical attention and also uh, and that we got to do. And I want for really understand and know from people them that the Facebook now and anybody will get for listening afterwards. If you're really interested in working with me, although we try to form this national alliance, we, uh, we will reach out. We will definitely reach out to the proper people then at the country for law. See if we can do a new survey. You know, we would deal with you know brain injury in the country and then report that data day so that we can try to enforce some of the laws and we come to you know head injuries then at the country so i think we all don't listen and uh, doctor don't give a call and assignment for see if we really want to be a part of the national alliance to prevent head injury and trauma in Sierra Leone or in Salon. Um, just like how concerned Sierra Leone and say, people don't take head, even with two people effect, it is say the next person, now the person aid no money one wap. Now the person aid na is just one yeah. wap, but we don't know how delicate aid be to mortal man. So I think there should be, uh, but me waiting just shut me down right now to be candid. Now for say the last survey or research or whatever they call them now eight years ago with all the motorcycle accidents we don't they be like it's not of paramount. So, and we can change that. We can change that and we will hold. Uh, people are um, accountable for letting you do this survey. Hopefully, if we get more people than we are uh, interested in research in the country, you know, they can do this. Even the, the college students, when they do their master's program, their graduate program, can decide for do this. And you know what, maybe I need for, because I really went to the WHO because most of the time, well, I want international uh, data or statistics. Now, that are the now they are the group for find uh, our data, but maybe there's another one, maybe a few years after the 2012, which we can look into further and see if that's available. But even though that's not available in things like this, we should be having research and ongoing research, given the fact, say, we team with really with encounter in that country, we one of the primary mode of transportation are motorcycles. So with that, I feel say the National Safety Board for the conduct uh, annual uh, uh, report on how many people that we don't get involved in motorcycle crash, you know, accident or car crash, right? You know, so that way they then can present them to the government say, I think we need funding in how you institute some of the measures them will prevent, you know, uh, uh, the people them from getting hurt. Because if you really, as you see how the brain complex, you know, within and as well the functions that we, we can really do with the brain, you know, if, if we get affected, that way, especially when at the moderate to severe form of traumatic brain injury, that person in future, it's really not guaranteed, right? And mobility is very important. When they see the one always done a wheelchair, we say they go through, right? Like I've been mentioned the last time, the person is not one place, you don't get nobody with a turn up. You know, now the difference that in them place that wouldn't get nursing assistance or waiting at the hospital setting, then you turn the patient every two hours. Or if this is a person with conscious of in, in upper body parts, he would move now in wheelchair for insurance, you know, get any breakdown. Because we get breakdown, not only because you know they get uh you know perfusion. perfusion, perfusion means blood flow to that area they you know they also, you know, uh, you, 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 like you they constantly they get muscle weakness and cause other things and both funding for day. And that's why we feel say we healthcare system needs to improve in the country. Um, I want to fulfill, say, that the education and the communication are not the problem. Because make could just take the bike riders, then, for example. The only thing we then sabi, the riders, them say, if you not give passenger helmet, police go arrest you. You, the bike rider, if you not wear helmet, police go arrest you. But I think they should go beyond that. 
and for able for make clear they understand the reason why you need an helmet where you claim on top of a bike. The reason why you need an helmet where you ride a bike. The reason why you need an helmet where you ride bicycle. For bicycle, for say, in, in just to wait Andy, because I don't think people they even know say for ride bicycle, you need for wear helmet. Just to wait Andy. You go see bike rider get an extra helmet for passenger, but instead the passenger go hold him or the bike rider go put her in front of him. Since the passenger go tell her, say, no, me, I don't want him. So I think they should go beyond that one day for educate we people them eh, about yeah. why make you suppose to wear this helmet. Not for just say no more wear helmet. I think because Correct. they just say wear helmets, now I make them just say, ah, oh, okay, me, I don't need an helmet. I uh, make us say, Adam Ajibate say, say, by car and passenger, they need loads of education on the use of helmets. He say, most people, they ride without helmets in a saloon. Important in preventing the head injury, current research is definitely overdue. And Judge Kamara back said this day, say, those numbers are vastly underrepresented. I'm um, given the wickedness of our Okada riders. Yes, what did they say about this education to the bike riders in the populace? Because everybody liable for take, um, bike. So, what in you think, say, the message, the engagement, eh? I don't know if the ONS or they say then a national security to the Ministry of Health or oh, oh, but the national there is something missing in the transmission of this particular information. Well I feel say you know we can start somewhere. You know, yes, then not if we feel say this not happened, you know, right now we can reach out first to find out which thing they're going to do. Because before you start a new project, you want to find out from the the ONS the National Safety Board, as well as the Ministry of Health and Sanitation, which in the don't do from that last survey, is there a new data that we can focus on to see exactly which are the number of people and we don't get injured? You know, even we can even focus on 2019. How many people don't get, you know, a traumatic brain injury due to not wearing these proper safety gears? If we can get that data, that's not the first step, right? And then that can lead we now to the next step. But I believe, say, you know, if we get a couple of people that we're interested in this project, you know, we can do this and we can present this data and also what it educate the bike riders them or athletes them at the different communities them. We want to show them the effect of, you know, having a traumatic brain injury, like some of the symptoms and way and we are present now so today, you know, and for see what thing each part of the body, you know, responsible for. And not to talk of if you get injured starting from your C spine, we are the cervical spine, to you know, that means you get become quadriplegic. You can't move your hands, you can your breathing is gonna be affected along with many other different functions them. So I still say a dialogue is needed, a communication is needed, and also holding stakeholders accountable and responsible, whoever they in charge, that ministry they need to understand say this is not a serious issue. This is not something we call for a change by the country. And for me, where we discussed that young boy in topic that day Right in, I, I, if you see the following day I came back, I had to say something. Even uh, we, one of the <laughs> listeners and say, I didn't go off topic. No, it was just too much for me to bear and to see that, you know, we they, we know the effect of waiting. This they really cause to people them. Why we can do something about it, right? You know, it takes maybe one or two persons to start something. And then you see now with that, that continuous education that the communities them we need them, you know, go begin to understand say this is for real. And let me tell you, even these developed countries them, we now today they get different things that in place, different campaigns them, where we say maybe not the mama and a one young kid so then get injured during the sport, then a mama or in papa they go in the communities them, you know, try for engage different people them and even get uh, some form of memory because if they don't lose their life in the process, then they say, you know, um, 
when it called the Peking name and then saying that, that for that and for ensure say no other Peking not go through that same problem day. So if we parents them, you know, the citizens and the country take the problem very seriously and say, you know what, this don't happen to me. But I know only happen to that my neighbor, only happen to that my friend, right? That way they one by one, we go make a big difference in our nation. So this is now one thing I'd encourage every Sierra Leonean and every ministry of health and sanitation we come on board, along with, you know, the ONS and, you know, the National Safety Board. You know, anyone way it feels if you get involved in this, you will bring change. And they hold everybody responsible or accountable, I would say, that, you know, we work together. Let's work together so we could really change the future of our young kids, you know, growing up for, you know, a brighter future. And if we get people their way, you know, they take safety very paramount, definitely they will grow up for become, you know, intelligent people. Then we go change how the country look right now. So, yes, we may have not had those things before. But I think we are in the place of changing that. So as we they go, as the century they change, you know, ideas and they come up and we they get more people them who will come on board and do good things for Sierra Leone. And I'm calling on my fellow Sierra Leoneans, you know, if you day in the health field, health field or not health field, because you know what? In a research, you can do research, you don't have to be uh, a nurse or doctor, you just be focusing on science or other things, please work with me. Work with me so that we can really make this change in salon, so that we will really protect the citizens, them. so we will and sensitize the different people that they use motorcycles, you know, recklessly, you know, they wear helmets, you know, where they don't understand the purpose of wearing the helmet. The purpose is to protect your brain, your skull, your spinal cord in case of, you know, injuries. And we will educate even drivers them about the importance of seatbelts. I know, say, we country actually, I think we really do much better when it comes to seat belts because now you see them and they see that you wear seat belts compared to uh, we neighbor in um, Guinea. I, that's not a new law way I'm yet to see that is reinforced because um, I really they see, even when it's something and think of it, some of you only travel, you want for wearing seat belt because you don't use to run, right? If you wear a light uh, color clothes, your clothes are going to get dirty because they're not even use them. Right? So now, that because the education that they go around at the community is them, but I still say we can do, we can do more as, as, as reunions, you know, collaboratively. Uh, one for three, thank you. Um, I opened the phone line. Would they let you first make you go? I they opened the phone line in for five minutes. Make we see if we get mm-hmm. people and move on for contribute. Um, mm-hmm. by way, man, away you go call. If not, uh, we will come back and then you can say ta ta to fumble them. But make we open All the right. phone line for the next five minutes and see what in people then they say. Thank you very much, doctor. We go count you back. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, call I live on here. You name and say the call from please. Um, good evening, I name Abibatu and call from Maryland. Yes, Abibatu, you get three minutes. What in a young contribution yeah. today? So my contribution to this program is a very good initiative, Dr. Isatu. I want to say thank you very much. Um, I believe there are some great things there, so we need for the teaching people learn about. I will say the, the conversation mostly people in the focus on Okada riders and bicycle. But I think the woman in the country need most of this education because you get the cane, you go play. If you don't do it, you go just get and you don't sit and pan and you don't sleep. We all see it. Some people say, oh, this person just don't know what to do. They have to not die, die so. People in the villages, they can come up sticky for all kind of. So I think not only mostly in a boy picking them, but guy picking them also. I feel saying that education is good for everybody, but mostly the woman them. Now, in the main focus, even with the helmets, we said only in Africa, when you look at the one who wear um, helmet, where they write Okada, I would say, say the man, the way they wear the past the woman. Then. So, woman, they know what wear them because they, they study in your style. If you say, you know, we fix in your head, we mess up in the cup, not thinking of or not knowing the safety issue it come with. And also, the man, they mostly can comply, and then Okada, rider, and the passengers, then. 
but the woman in the big deal. So at least there is education mostly for women. Then. And secondly, the other point is we talk about traumatic brain injury, which can come from different things. It can be from a fall, it can be something you can get from maybe an infection, from different different things. Then. Another concern when you get is we talk about MRI. Because for me, sometimes this year I get a headache. I go hospital, you give me medicine, you know, work, the doctors okay go for MRI, but the first thing they ask me you for them, you hit you with any sign. So now the facilities the campaign say, okay, let it let them let seek care with them for them, but do we have the facilities to get that done? That is the biggest concern also. Because when I go tell you, well, I go to hospital, I don't know what they give me straight there, they go do. But so when we pull in, we like more medicine, we like for see doctor more, we like for see machine more, we like for see the lame person. Understand that it's in a treatment. What are we just getting paracetamol to go now? Also, we say, well, why go the last day? Paracetamol, I just go back to cut up a ticker. So, some of them things in the two like Dr. Isa to say, I think people know they need for all accountable, like the Minister of Health. Some of them basic things that we need for getting our country. So, that way, if me and I come on the ticket for them, I don't say if I can go, not to tell you, not to almost nobody go here. At least, if there is a need for getting any x ray, any scan, any MRI, then go before do one. But if you go tell me that all this happened to me to King and the country will facilitate them, now I'm for bring it bigger. They can say, all I can do to King go Ghana and let them go do scan. So they tell you they come up with that money, they be playing the story for you. You don't want to King. And so I believe that people in the Ghana Salon, for simple, simple things, then we, we for every day in place for puts now a country. Then it can help. We are the biggest problem we get. So this is a good initiative. Me, um, I'm willing, I will help whatever way with Dr. Isa too. I will give me extra time for do them, put them together. But I believe, say, the healthcare ministry needs to be held accountable. Let them make some of their basic needs there so available where they encourage people for even sick treatment. Because if I go, you're not going to have to really do for me, just give me paracetamol. I might as well just go down and sweet and slow my host. So even though the education they go, but yes, the Ministry of Health, they need to put things in place also. So that way, the people in Osawa, they go to hospital for a reason, and not they just go, go waste the time for something like a simple reason at us. That means contribution and they for today. Thank you very much, Abibatu. Thank mm-hmm. you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Yes, call ID live on air. You name it, the call form. I'm waiting for a contribution. Yes, this is not George. Uh, well, you know, Dr. Asatudu, she did a very an excellent job covering all the bases. Um, so I just want to rehash some of the things that we say. Basically, really, my very good uh, point is very sad that you don't get too many people in at the chat room for listening to them to hear because they are very important. Uh, 2016, one of my best friends in uh, Texas, in Papago, free of the money. This was about Christmas time. Uh, even get the driver, the, the rider, the Okada rider, even get um, a helmet. An immigrant helmet, and they get in an accident. Uh, you know, re- regrettably, in die uh, because he gets. He, he, he just, he just, he just hit the concrete. You know, it was an instant death. So most of the time, we we the talking thing that people if you say they take and lightly, really. They make even when we go salon for even ride right, Okada. I've done it once, and I've seen me had to say come on and belay for them because I it was it was so scary. And another thing that people don't can understand also, even we you can do that inside cars, you know, they drive some man they say, and anyway, she but me anyway, she but I say, well, they don't understand what's not the the, the the physics involved in, in the reason why they want to wear seat belt. The reason why we don't want to wear seat belt is, is simple. Is that if your car is going at 50 miles per hour, you, the body itself, whether it's restrained with the seat belt or not, you to go technically, you go at 50 miles an hour at the same time. So when the driver comes to a sudden stop, we you not expect the seat belt only protect you. But if you are unrestrained, your body continues to move at 60 miles per hour. So that makes the people waking in at the front most of the time. You can see so they can come on out through the windshield, you know, they fall down, they go hit something, they die. And most of the time you can see if the driver is restrained, most of the time you can say, oh, but did that driver not die? Or oh, that person not die? Then most of the time, if the person not die, most of the time it's just, it looks like a head-on collusion, that seat belt only saved them. But when you when you try for telling people I didn't think they are, they, they just can't put it in perspective, like to think about it abstractly, you know. So they think they like with them, like with doctors, they talk about them teaching them. You have to do, use illustration videos then of really traumatic events there. because some some of the time you you say somebody don't die by Okada today, but you don't really it's just a hearsay, and just very few very, very few people that witness them. But if you have it on video, you show people. This is what it could be because sometimes, you know, like when they say a picture uh, uh, is worth a thousand words, videos, it, it affects it, either either the way they watch them, they say, oh, well, that's that's very traumatic. 
I know and if somebody will ride bike at the bike every day, they could take caution. And at the last call, I talked about them woman. Then they talk about uh, we uh, make up. They talk about you know you, you think about your your perfection or imperfection. You know, and let you make up, which is uh, but safety. They always trump in the day. because if you know they're alive, your makeup doesn't really matter. The only makeup we could get sadly is the one from the funeral home. But sometimes people don't think about that. You know, if you say, oh, but I know they were, and that's, that's true. She's very true. She was very right. You see them, they didn't make up, they wear their makeup fine, and then they go do the hair, no helmet. But if you have an accident, and that's what they say, an accident, and the drivers are most of the time, the riders are most of the time, because they get helmets, they are very careless. They are very, they don't, they, they have no regard. Because why? Because they won't go to the next uh, person, drop you off. It's all about the next money, next person, next passenger. They don't care about safety. They just go between, in a, uh, you know, because if you go, for example, when they can ride, then you get cars and then they, then they, then they, then they swap between in and cars, uh, between cars. Then if me and car collide, you and I will cut out. Who are get the, the, the brunt end of, of that? Obviously not you. So, but they don't, they don't think about that. You know, the visible, they are invisible. They are, you know, it's all about money or that hit money you didn't get. You know, to then get the Okada, that hit money they with the from, with the, one of the targets, with the from get today. And they, 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 they never put safety at the forefront. So, yeah, so education is really, uh, it's, it's really needed. It's very, very needed in that country. I don't know how to say really, but, uh, I think, it, I, mean, I think, so, I mean, lastly, you talk about the, the sudden infant syndrome, that seed and that baby shaking syndrome. Yes, this is the thing. Even, even I, how many picking them just, but this is not really traumatic, but how many women that you see that they put that picking day that they barely they sleep? And they always stay in at school. If you, if anybody they involved in any type of uh, medicine, they always say, say, back to sleep, picking for dinner and back for sleep. They ain't in the week, you see, picking this, they don't picking dinner and sleep. They put picking at the belly. That is very unsafe. But wait till some man who say, oh, but now that make the picking they sleep well. If I put that in the picking, go sleep all night. No. There's a reason why they tell you that. It's not because they just want to tell you. It's because there are, there are actually concrete raw numbers involved. How many children, especially uh, pe- pe- uh, 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 children of Afri- African heritage, with a dying at the sleep, and that's shaking baby syndrome. So man, you don't know, take that baby, eat some, and the baby they laugh. The baby, you know, the baby they laugh. It, 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 you think it's, it's it's you think it's cute, but it is not because like what you doctor has been saying, your your the movement of that brain in the baby's skull it is shift. It can lead to concussion or even a, a cerebral bleed. You know. But most of the time, if you don't tell these people, and even if you tell them, because sometimes they don't watch anything with educational or they're not even actually not happy in the family, they, they, there's something called in medicine, they call it affective learning. And I can always say this to people. And affective learning is simply like somebody will get cancer, somebody will get, uh, like, oh, they talk about this, even this uh, uh, traumatic brain injury. Some people in the, they go to ride the bike so all all the day you not get you know they refuse to wear helmet even if it's their helmet. But the day you see somebody close to and die, or possibly when a neighbor die from that uh, uh, an accident, the attitude towards that could change. But you can't have that before you affect change. So most of the time people can only relate to something if it affect them closely. But because we don't let that happen to everybody, then that's that's going to be really bad. Then you use video, you use teaching reinforcement. Now, they village them more. Most of the time, modern village them. Most, most people learn. You, and you can see, people, you can see, now, uh, Okada, I mean, one time, I swear to God, one time, and they go, I don't even know if they go cross. Somebody get baby, they get two toddlers, them, they insert, and the bike rider, now the same bike. I was like, what? I was like, a toddler, an infant. Then at the person in hand. Then they told me, oh, oh man, I am not the only way I need to go. I said, is that your only uh, mode of transport, uh, mode of trans- transportation? It's got picking for dumb. They, they, they could die. They are, they are so, they are minors. They could die. That's, 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 uh, uh child endangerment. You see, ah, that's what they do now. No car without you, Western business now. This is how people think. They, you know, they need to think about them picking in safety. It's just about getting home. Uh, they need to think about for call taxi. No, it's about four of them. Seriously. I was like, oh my God. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I won't put me full now, recorder, seriously, because when you tell people they're anything in there, they are not believe. So I know I'll hold the line uh, for too long. I just want to stop now. All right, thank you very much, George. Thank You're you, welcome. sir. Mm-hmm. Um, the most time we making see the overload na bike Sundays, eh? Then school days in the morning. Like that was Aloya. You come on a morning. It is see four five. 
picking them. The bike man, the bike man, they sit down on top of the tank, or they put two picking on top of the tank. He gets how many people in Bien. Then for going to the villages, then then was. For going to the villages, then. They see pass most people in per bike. No, they see them get load back on. If they tell you, say, now bike run, they, you go deny first. What then they can, you go fit in a motor cam. You go deny. Say, no, uh uh, not to bike run until they reach near you. And they tell you, go say, hey, now bike run into so. So, how many people in, eh, with market, go na then waff them. The fisherman them. Eh? Apart from the fisherman, they say load them. Hey. Then just feel say that's the way for making the money. Four bag rest, four bag cement, put people in pant up. But hey, I think your life you walk past that. And I believe say education, education, education. Because me feel say waiting then sabi at this moment. Now for say, oh police they hold me if I know wear helmets. And then me feel oh. And then me feel say then sabi. Say police go hold me if I know wear helmets and that's it. But I think it's more than that. Yes, caller, your name and who's the call from and within a contribution. Yeah, this is my mic from Philadelphia. Yes, Mike. Yeah, I just want to give advice to all Australian unions. Uh, please make sure you get checked, you know, because even if your blood sugar high, blood pressure high, you feel oozy, you fall down, you go hurt yourself. You go either hurt your brain or hurt something. So please get yourself checked. At least check your sugar, you know what I mean? Check your pressure. I mean, and try for help yourself because this is a very I mean dangerous thing. We we used to have said no no say you sugar high and you just to go about living your life, enjoying yourself, you know. I just wanna let every Sierra Leone just you know what I mean stay on top of your health. You know, health is very important. And I'm your contribution anymore. Thank you very much Mike. Thank you sir. Yeah. I see people and they say they don't try Okada one thing and that's the end of it. Judge have said the same thing. Mohammed Kamaya back said the same thing. He said literally direct the rider how for handle the back until he reaching destination. And that was a scary experience, even though then get a helmet. Kudos to Dr. Isato Kake for the initiative. Sylvester Monde say he say, um, honestly, when he be the grow up, he be the use for fat with him. Hey, do you know say what be the grow up? You get people and win a boat, then they bought. Say, ah, not plow and then if he bought you today, na cow aid na I get. So I think Sylvester Monday na be one part of them people in the way, he be go up, he be feel say get cow aid for the bought people him. He say until one day way he bought somebody, then he collapse, and then they lead to serious problem him. And up to now, he na they play with him aid, even when he they play football. You don't see? Motor man aid and cow and sheep not to the same. Eh, the one and they got make them for bots, but we mortal man, uh uh, not try them. Yes, who's friend, you get the platform, sir. Yeah, hello, Triple A, and thanks very much to the program we organized with Dr. Ewe for Pioneer. And a very, very good initiative and a very good move regarding brain, brain traumatic injuries. Um, and a very, very good thing back we in terms of salon development, gonna brain and they make mortal man, they think. It coordinates a lot of intelligence, creativity, emotions, memory, lots of things we the govern. Um, in fact, say when we look at the brain, I, I look at the brain like a government. Now we know more now governments the one the way they left to what they do. But when you look at the brain now they when you talk of governing and they govern the whole body, when I didn't they make decisions for distribute them. If you see the decisions in the brain are not going well it's a part of the brain, like how doctor been they say, one part will be for this, if not for let you breathe or for let you taste self, you taste self with the taste, for let you enjoy food. That's how they with the damage and because I at the base of the brain, so that, that, that stem day. Then damage yourself. You know, if you really enjoy your food, you you know we hearing good music, you know, we will get a sense of sight. 
So all your senses and what you see in your body, they all they go at the brain for go inter for them go interpret them. So a wallet will enjoy understand say there is a care for that and the movement if they make come, God day, everybody will get little ego support in terms of whatever little and I hope say government go able to give and have anywhere in this thing will get for come look. And uh, the brain of itself, uh, I'll be able to talk, they see the cover we cover and at the skull, of course. Um, um, the reason why most time back, like how the doctor, they see they wear the, the, the helmet because the, the God gave the brain a helmet of itself. And the brain, you know, helmet, a natural one, and at the skull, that, that, that bony part. But it, it flat, if I know of the flat bones within the mortal mind part of the body, and they make up of eight bones. Beside the way they call so all they see the frontal, you get one within your forehead, so and the way they can middle your brain small and the parietal, in fact, I cover the biggest parts. They divide into two, and they get the occipital that would be in the back, like wouldn't they see lot in a one they cover, but in between the layer, they are up, up to the eight type of bones there because on the day two, then get the, the, the one for the middle and the one for carrying the, 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 the back, now two, then day, the other one is a one one. They get one at the side and one at the side. But the idea is them they for protect the brain. And then they eat bone there, then get side when I junction them. Then junction they are between. Now in a like a suto they call it. They see like zigzag. If you even see brain pants on the animal, they see like zigzag. When God make the brain they zigzag there, now then they actually regulate like the brain for if you want to expand, you want lesson, now in the protect time back, so the brain of the tight, you know that was because then they change as begin they grow up. But when it's small, if they get side and they see at the brain, you see inside at the center of your brain now, yeah. That side they will they develop later. We then get different name for them, different the language in the salon. But that side they you see you see small people and you put my doni day, we say they pick it, they make so that side they as they close. As it includes, when at that bone, then they don't diffuse now, then they become eight bones. The way around come eight bones, between them, then suit so then they, they expand and close as the pressure now they come. But when the pressure too much, we're not able, that they either us so until that very bone, they, they dead self, they go inside that brain, it damage and small. So then get that side, if that is how we have for you to taste, it don't damage day. If that is how we have for let you remember, it don't damage day. So now, so God make your own sign at the brain. And you make the brain and the body, you message them, which is like, like a telephone back. For say, it directly, when you, wait, like when you ring phone up, person, you go to straight in number. It's not, not to like a broadcast. The broadcast of a radio or television, when you want, you go change your, your station, you go other side. When you get different parts of the body, with female, female, but you are like a telephone. And uh, so that we show me the nervous system. With the message, they come out, it go inside. The message, they not come out, and go inside and come on, the way they for come on, you know, go work well. And they get back something where they make this brain, it nourish. And what is that the two nourish, huh? Now that fluid, inside that man, they talk about C9, C5, sorry, C5, what doctor will explain to that guy. But now, now just, just a lower, lower bit down, now fluid will flow from your tail bone, now middle of your spinal cord, tail bone at the brain. Now they call cerebral spinal fluid. Now fluid, where they for nourish. The brain, and they go around the brain, and if you go around the brain, it is secured there by another umbrella thing, one of like small layers, they can call meninges, and a small, small layer them. Now something like normal coating there, like when you peel egg, you see all that small layer, and something like that, and they are in the process. And so the brain is there, again, nourishment. But then they are back, if they damage them at the road, we say they can get for pass for go, they know we'll go nourish the brain. So all around the day, day. And that other area where we ask about acquire, who doctor explains so naive, not acquire and trauma. But the acquire actually, I think to me, I see like, in, in, in the overall, in, in the branch of which, in, in the trauma, because that's something actually where you know they get from congenital, and, like we didn't born you, we didn't born you, you get certain trauma then. You know, it's from, uh, from uh, genetics, you get trauma. But this particular one, uh, the traumatic one way they get from an impact or some side where you go get hit or some accident. Then get the other one back with something and they physically shake you. Even when they deliver a baby self, you can get some there. Depending on the method of delivery, what they don't pull now in terms of delivery, don't change those methods, they affect back the baby in brain. Sometimes it might even be some of those traumatic cases in that year because those systems were still internally, wouldn't be used them. It might be, if you don't be during childbirth, 
But like when they ask them, who that then are the now the one that we uh, the, the the group of people that are the ages then who they they find this trauma. But if God get this task, you so will likely able to see it might lessen a bit or it might have increased because of the type of fighting we in the country, the people in the first first that might increase it. But if it increased in those years, I will suspect slightly during that delivery time of babies, most of the time there is traumatic and injuries we they undergo. But people are not able to know at all, at all, because that's in the, the brain in both that you go see, even that head, we said they put that madoni, he all not strong it. So all and thing, and if doctor get for duam, we will get for involved, we we'll look back the midwives and try to see what method they would apply. It's only the local midwives and the upline. They get some actually some radical way of delivery, depending on the type of individual and the nature and the presentation of the baby, because baby then get different presentation, we then go see the child and go to cesarean, but that's in a different factor. But that might also be a reason, you see, because God make the woman for it will be ready to give the baby well, but nature can change them. So those are genetics, body, but I mean a delivery body, acquire it, acquire it, acquire where you don't be because of something. So it either be you don't go hit your head, or you acquire them because of they go get an accident or could not fall on your head, or you bang your head where you fall down. These are all areas that we will be able to see. So now and the weight of the brain, the weight, the brain is very heavy. And then the woman in brain naturally is very big. And I would recommend them. Now, so science, we don't see. Science say the brain of the women are larger than the female, the, the, the mass, the mass area of it. That's why you know my one for add up. And thank you very much for giving me the platform. But I only hope so everybody goes sit on board and try to understand and see, see, then, see, and I think the way important, we will try to move along, let the government be able to put on the MRI machine and try to install them. You know, go easy. And then even the head, then. They have, they, 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 if the government get for CC, then go for able help. If, or, or the project we do will go for bless. You never know. Let them make the helmets the accessible back where people can go able to buy them. Despite some say back in the cheap people will buy them, but maybe that might be another factor for attract them for let all man go able to acquire um, uh, helmets for the drivers then inside. Then they pick in then the midwife then think of a C. What type of delivery? They don't change them, but just to know where and where the, 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 these issues of trauma then they occur. Then God will be able to make we able for push along before. And thank you very much for giving me the platform. And I thank more Dr. 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 Um, Dr. Jalo, Sotu Jalo for his initiative with Bring Camp. All right, thank, thank you very you much, much Rusfin. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I think I just hear one or two uh, messages on uh, Facebook. Um, Adam Ajibate says, brain anatomy and pathology one on one. <laughs> That's not for us, friend. Um, Jeroy says, most of the people with brain trauma end up having seizure and we normally accuse them of say then they see evil spirit. And uh, Timbuktu Atakama say, he say, if you wear the helmet, you know, strap them. It just like say you know wear helmet, not the same bad way no more. That's common among passenger and bike riders them na salon. But make them they wear helmet, they not strap them. Today not to politics, today na health. I make you not see we humble there. Eh? Well, we wait there, eh? <laughs> um, but me come and say, say one for say thank you to doctor um, for a solution oriented approach to the problem. In the work with medical transport, USAI safety meeting them na compulsory. Such safety involves the overall safety. He say if the project um comments, he say then for get lost them. Where the Ministry of Transport can train, program them, who say people them for able for adhere for you new your car license before the bike register and the driver or the rider must attend then kind training there. And then for getting a certificate to go in the KT, they don't spend that time there for making them watch all that video and all the training and then don't complete them. Where well, the sign can convey, then they also sign it and will convey the passenger there and such passenger they mandated for where the helmet violation should, mm, I didn't know now, forget heavy penalties for the riders and the fine for the passengers. 
Um, thank you for the love for Sierra Leone. Yes, même um, si c'est ici, and today they humble their nokamo. Exactly, but health is world. We are here. Health is world. Happy about to Kaba. Yes, doctor. What you want close with me? Okay, um, thank you, AAA, and thank you to Uskred. We, uh, all the panelists in the health discussion, and I want for thank, I want for thank, uh, Abibatu, we call, you know, giving you input, George Kamara, uh, Concern Sierra Union from Australia, as well as, um, the comment section, um, and Mike as well, give a call in, um, law understand, say we help in a paramount thing for we here is today, um, because with the concern about the young ladies, we they don't fix their hair, they don't want to wear a helmet, they don't want to mess up their makeup or their hair do. But, you know, here is say, you know, you look good, you don't get trauma. Because if you know where the helmet, you go fall into an accident, you know, then that face day or maybe your mobility could become affected along with other parts of our body parts. So definitely law no look at we look them, law look at the facts in our safety first, then they talk every other thing before we, we they look good out there. And then, you know, and I understand the concern for, you know, the community say, you know, the healthcare system will not get the MRI machine them and the CT scan them for ensure say them prompt um interventions they are can take place, you know, we require, you know, in many a traumatic brain injury not get for require a CT or MRI law, understand that. So, but so if you get a mild one, you know, um, they can evaluate you and observe you and try to uh, make sure you get the education we you need for ensure that you stay away from additional trauma. But in some cases, they do need the CT scan, they need the MRI. But I know a lot of focus on just that for say because this is not day, so we not go educate the communities then because we need for start there for educate the communities then and for put you know work with the people that we're in charge of the Okada riders then we they give um license and I rightfully agree with uh I believe uh Bombay uh yeah Bombay way in the in, in recommendation we give definitely if then make sure say before the Okada rider they get in license if watch a mandatory video or go through a mandatory training where they get a certificate say you don't look all the risk them or we involved in riding an Okada without an helmet and see some traumatic events them you know where you know um I mentioned and George Bach mentioned because sometimes we people then see the effect of something, then can take them very seriously. And also, when you get somebody, now your family member don't suffer something, then you become very nervous about it. So, like me, for example, uh, I lost a brother in a, a sea, right? So, uh, I'm very scared and nervous that I would not go on a regular boat ride. I would go inside the, the ferry, but that's all I can do. So, that time, the only brother passed away. He didn't just don't finish, um, um, from five would and take the uh O level, you know, and nine be ten number one na my dear that's and ten out of everybody na salon where this happened, the only results come out, you know, uh, it feel like saying that day they he left na sea. We don't even see in body, you know, that to tell you that it come out from Guinea to can for kind of free town. So it was very traumatic for me and then it's like for that reason I'm always scared for go from boats, you know, and uh, ride them, you know, right? So those are the things that we, you know, you, you try for relate, you know, what don't happen to you, you know, maybe it can make you become more conscious on how you deal with certain things. But I feel say if we start with the education and the communities um, and work with the uh, Ministry um, of uh, Health and Sanitation and the, the National Safety Board where they deal with motor vehicles and um, other riders, um, you know, try for make letting embrace the initiative stage before we not give license, before we not issue out any uh, uh, go ahead, you know, then people have to go through this training, yeah, so they forget a, 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 a certificate say they will abide to them guidelines there, so before then they are not the road. The other thing also we can try for the road is see you do now, so especially in New York City, you know, uh, the road then then divide them, so we say motorcar the path and we say bicycle and they ride and um, bikes them. So maybe these are things then we will require government, you know, intervention for let them self try to make the road safe for people, for people them like also the pedestrians and we put any 
they walk away in the cross street. Then zebra then at the road for you say, you know they just cross the street anyhow. You make sure say you cross now a place where the mutka see you they come, then we we'll take a yield for let you go continue or then there if we traffic lights them back they in place, definitely people are not going to just cross the street just like that. You know, I feel say that then are something, you know, government need for coming, but you know, in order for uh, us to start somewhere, we have to start with community education. Um, during the event, then they will try to offer some young uh, athletes them or young uh, or career writers them, maybe like a find a specific location where we will target them, educate them on, you know, the risk and what this entails and why important for letting them wear a safety gear and also even the drivers them for ensure speed and they wear seat belts and then the parents then then you can go on to communities they will say you know um uh who's Fred mentioned the um the midwives them you know where they picking them born you know before then discharge them that they institute this uh shape shaking baby syndrome you know video for see them for watch them and for educate the husband and wife both have to watch this and sign the document that they were educated on it that they're not supposed to be shaking babies and also how to put picking in in in, in 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 back instead of in belly because sometimes you know picking and can suffocate in that really so these are different things that really happen but it it, it, it what they require now for institute the measures and for that people they understand which they go on but that's why we do always say we self-care system need improvement you know and for also, just go, you know, look at the traumatic brain injury and the acquired brain injury. Just understand see, the trauma now because something happened from the outside, while the acquired now something will happen within, meaning you get a stroke or you get a, a brain tumor or you get, you know, some form of, you know, degenerative changes or infection can lead to that. And even sometimes alcohol can lead to then pain and day for somebody with acquired, you know, brain injury. So the, the two uh, might be a slightly different in how it happened to you, but, you know, the effect them can be very similar. So definitely I uh, feel so we can start somewhere. And I want to tell Abiba to thank you and end on be the first one for saying one join this campaign. I know Usfred is there to back me on this as well. So Usfred, I'm actually holding you on that because, you know, I will have to do all these things with you along with other children. And George, I don't forget you. I don't say you will join me too. So I'm actually beginning to more people, ask them. We need few people to start this and so that we can really uh, help the country in safety measures and how we can make things better. And in terms of the data, AAA, uh, technically, you know, studies need to happen like at least every five years. Right. So uh, this one is definitely an old study, and we hope say there's a newer study out there. Uh, maybe I didn't reach to it, but um, uh, if it's not done, I think we can be the one to do this. You know, and you know, if we do the education, are they are they, are they see something like say, you know, can do this now. Uh, program where they them will air on national TV so people can really understand say, the safety for your brain is very vital that everybody takes them very seriously. I want to take, tell everybody thank you for the comments now Facebook, you know, definitely this now education we will need for your life you know, we brain and you control everything we will do today and thank you everyone for the comments and for the feedback and then the addition them we can all give today you know, I think say important for me you know, as real unions. And I see uh, somebody be asked, we can go on with the young boy, you know, in Tados right now. Um, definitely, if anybody know about in, in contact, we want for no, right? Because some people, if we don't do donations, then we we'll try to uh, reach out to the family members them so that we can uh, do the um, hand, handing over. Excuse me, um, my line didn't just go to a Bluetooth, sorry. So what I really try to say, you know, we really want to reach out to the family member and give them the contribution, then the people always donate for that. And we feel say, along with Sarah Network Charity Foundation, uh, this national um, alliance, you know, for, you know, 
safety, you know, in National Alliance and preventing head and head injury and trauma in Sierra Leone, you know, can come and work together because we mission statement for Sierra Network Charity Foundation focus on healthcare, focus on, you know, civic engagement, you know, safety and addressing communities that we need help. So I definitely do call on all Sierra Leoneans who are interested in this, you know, who they're on the ground, we can do presentation them at like different communities. Um, this is a way of showing that we love our country. This is a way of showing that we want our country to be safe and people then within the country will become uh, protected. And these are things that has to happen. And you know, we hope for the best. And we hope, we know, since Sierra Leone will become a better place for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Aisato Kakejaro. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Triple. Um, Naya, we did left everything today. <laughs> we don't try. And we want to say thanks to doctor. We taking time for make we go through the brain injury, trauma and all those things. I think we don't get easy now for, I believe say we be no, but sometimes we can make careless. Where they talk to we people and where they take bike in a salon for be aware. I see a lot of people, <laughs> they write even mic self right in a one thing, don't take bike in a salon, you not take again. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, people ain't no go say that. <laughs> but at least this don't, don't give me a wake up call again. Even though when I can they ride the bike, uh, no. Literally, like, na me the ride, because you have to listen to what I have to say. And if you misbehave, uh, we go get an issue, me and the rider. But for safety reasons, I think we need for the engage with people. Um, we go there back tomorrow. Um, for come. Hmm. Wait, another topic. But you know, see, we're not a stress, not so. Till we meet again, Triple A, Tata.